Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. It's been a while since I sat down and just did a regular old vlog and something prompted me to turn on the camera like it normally does. Uh, I realize I've been sitting at this desk a lot in the last several weeks and have been playing with Luminar as a standalone product. And the behind the scenes of that is I'm thinking about writing a book on Luminar and so I need to spend some quality time with the software. But what prompted me to turn on the camera and record this is realizing that it's been fun being in a tool that is not in like familiar like the back of your hand familiar i've used luminar since it came out this is like late 2016 but mostly as a as a finishing tool for you know photos that i would start somewhere else and then finish them off with a particular look that i like that luminar gives me so now playing with the software purely standalone i'm finding that i'm visiting different types of photos that I normally wouldn't spend the time to process. And some of that comes from the um, unfamiliar territory. Like, I don't know every filter in Luminar like the back of my hand as I do in other tools. And so the hunting around and looking for things lead to interesting experiments. You know, what does this slider do? What happens when I put these three filters together and all that kind of stuff? And, you know, getting back into uh, kind of a, an exploratory mode, like, you know, if you're uh, ever, ever watch a, a, a little kid who's now two or three years old, and just exploring their world, looking at everything and picking up everything and figuring out how it all works and trying to you know, make sense of, uh, of their world. That's what I'm doing with the photography stuff. And so a few photos that have come out that I really like that I wouldn't have otherwise processed you know i got this one shot that i took in new york just walking around grand central station you know, it's a pretty classic set of uh setup on the composition and you know the 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 day was was pretty mess as far as you know weather and lighting and all that but you know going with a with a black and white look it, it came out really nice and you know got to explore several of the tools the same idea this another one from just walking around uh, another city this was in in Lisbon from you know, 2015. This has been sitting in my library for three plus years doing nothing and just starting to play with, you know, different sliders and different filters and not fully understanding how they all worked when I started. I ended up with something that I really like. You know, one more, same example, more of a subject study. You know, so these, these still all fall into kind of my genre of, um, you know, landscapes. The first two certainly do. This third one is a little different. You know, this is a, you know, a close up of a, of a lantern underneath the eaves of a, a temple in, in Tokyo. And I, I took the photo because I thought the lantern was interesting. But again, it sat in my library forever. And it, um, it's now something that I have that I like. You know, so um, so playing around with uh, the different software, especially something I'm not familiar with, I'm finding it sparking some creativity and it's opening my eyes. So the next time I go out, I may take photos of something that I might not normally bothered to press the shutter on because, you know, maybe, you know, hey, what if I try this other piece of software and see what emerges? And, you know, it's it's um it's encouraging to me because the way it seems to be working for me is that I may turn to Luminar for um, photos that aren't core landscape, right? I know what I want out of my landscape photos and I know how to get the looks that I like with the Lightroom and on one and, you know, Photoshop if I ever need to use that. You know, I, I, I got that world. But then there's this other world where maybe you know, Luminar will be the, the one that, that I use to do those types of photos. And so, um, you know, I don't want to have, you know, four different, five different, six different photo editors that all do the same thing because then, you know, well, well, why have six? You just need one. I'm cool with some of them being for a particular style or genre of photo uh, or a particular look and then others being for something else. You know, it does it make my editing world a little more complicated. Well, yeah, a little bit. Are there things that I would like to have Luminar be better at? Yeah, there are a few. Uh, retouching comes to mind. That's um, that's something that could be greatly improved in in Luminar. So, you know, there's some workflow things I'll need to work out for when I want to work on a uh, travel photo. I'll probably be doing retouching somewhere else, and then doing uh, you know the. The, the full look in uh, in Luminar's filters. But anyway, it's been an interesting experience. I thought I'd flip the camera on and record some thoughts about it. 
and uh, share them. And that's really it. There's no other point to this video. And if you made it this long, thanks for watching the whole thing. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.